Okay, so here we go. This is our other winner semis match. Yes, sir. It's going to be DMG and Disaster versus FX, DFW, Dakpo, and, and Lunchables. Lunch. Yeah, both these players sponsored by FX, DFW. Rocking those FX, DFW shirts. Oh, yeah. And Lunchables provide this excellent uh, new uh, common five for people so yep, they can do the stage screen. select. Very pretty, very convenient. Pretty awesome. So uh, they're they're doing stage strike process. I'm gonna say it's gonna be PS2. It's because probably gonna be PS2. It's usually PS2. Because I mean, why wouldn't it be? Y'all should really just. <coughs> 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 what do you think about <coughs> the idea of um, having all all stages be uh, strikeable? Like all the the entire counterpick stage list? Yeah, I think. That could be all right. I think it would slow things down, which I think is not a small problem. Yeah, it only does it on game one. I mean, it does it on game one. But yeah, and really the only part that's... Uh, oh, we're, we're going to get right, started. Let's talk about more. Okay, here we go. It's going to be Fox and Captain Falcon versus uh, Toon Link and Game & Watch. Toon Link and Game & Watch. Uh, Lunchables and Dakpo, really one of the strongest teams I have ever yeah. seen. They are actually yeah, they're the, the, the number one seed for, seed for this tournament. They've won, I think, all of the Bowser's Revenges since 3.5. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, like, every single time I've seen them in tournaments, I can't remember a time where they've ever lost teams. Yeah, they're, they're an incredible team. Ooh, very crucial gimp by the Fox. Still behind, though. Well, it's, like, it's about even. If they can just finish off Game Watch. 85% is definitely a killable percent for Game yeah. Watch, especially with a Fox and a Falcon on the screen. Yeah. Any yeah. straight up smash, any straight E will do the trick. Mm hmm. All right, so going back to a bit of neutral, uh, Fox gets hit off the side. That Fox is uh, oh. Disaster. That's Disaster. Disaster. Straight from DMG, though. Very unfortunate taking out his own partner. You know, I've been noticing that Disaster's been having a lot of problems with the eye lately. Has he? Oh, yeah. Like, as you saw there, he yeah. literally went yeah. down, down and away. away. Like, I don't know how that happens, but I've been seeing it happening quite a bit recently. I, I, I think it's sort of a Fox thing because as the, the reason why he DI'd so poorly is one, because he wasn't expecting to get hit, and two, because he was fast falling during his down air. So yeah. He was trying to get to the ground safe, get to the ground faster so he could get get there safely and yeah. not, you know, get hit by stuff. Yeah. But because he was trying to fast fall and he didn't see the knee coming, you get that terrible angle. Oh yeah. Okay, so uh now we have he's all they're already back. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, excellent ledge grab by, I think that was just after. Yes. Uh, ends up stealing that stock from Dakpo. Dakpo yep. just umbrellas down to the withery beyond. Yeah. Ooh, good cover. Oh, but wow. Not quite enough. And, you know, a lot of this is going to come down to uh, gimping DMG at this after. Yes. But both of these both of these characters have excellent, holy crap. That was amazing have excellent uh, damage output, and they have excellent ability to just flat out kill, but... But they are very squishy. They yeah. are definitely glass cannons. Yeah. And especially against characters like Game & Watch, who can just dive off stage and then recover with this huge up B. A good combo from DMG. This is uh, looking yeah, this... maybe doable. Oh, oh good for yeah, that, That's, that's probably it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, so good game one from these guys. Yeah. Uh, Dakpo and Lunchables end up taking the first game after a small setback mm -hmm. uh, from a few stock offs. Yeah, yeah, it took the, a couple of stocks for them to really get their, their engines revving, but yeah. afterwards, they're a very difficult engine to stop once yeah. it gets going. It's terrifying, it's terrifying. I've had to play against them before. It was just... Yeah. It just wasn't fun. It's really not. Like, it's just, there's just so much... Presence on the screen just because the, both their characters have really good projectiles. Both of them are really fast. Yeah. All right. So game number two, they're going oh, back, back to, to PS2. I mean, it's a great stage yep. for all the characters, really. Absolutely. Yeah. It's it's kind of hard to have the stage be bad for any character. Yep. Oh, that jab into up smash. It's going to seal the deal. Oh, on wow, the wall tech from TMP <laughs> saved that early. That was Very sick. crucial. <laughs> All right, doing a little shield pressure on Lunchables. Uh, Dakpo is sitting near the ledge. Ooh, good charge forward smash. 
Oh, oh. that forward air will be all it takes. Oh, no, he doesn't get to the ledge. Yeah, he didn't get the sweet spot on that fair. Narrowly misses it, and DMG is able to get back yep, because of it. Back onto the stage. Yeah. Now, one of the crazy things about Game & Watch is that whenever he's in his shield, you can't really touch him. Yeah, because it's, it's very difficult to pressure a Game & Watch because of the up out of shield. Yeah. actually hits, like, on, I believe it's frame three, if done perfectly. That's that's what I was thinking, yeah. was frame three. Because you got you oh, to wait for the jump again. squat, yeah. and then you got to well, get the you can actually You can actually cancel out of the jump squat, but you have, you have to enter into one frame of jump squat first, and then you can cancel the rest of the jump squat okay. frames directly into the upbeat. Okay. Which is why you can do stuff like up B out of shield and still yeah. be on the ground. And one of the reasons why that is so terrifying is that a lot of Game & Watch's combo ability his and his, his ability to kill is off of up B. Yes. So uh, let's no no. Yeah. So it just makes it once you get to like about seventy, you just yeah, you, you never want to uh, touch him. I'm, I'll touch your shield, but then I'm gonna back off. Yeah. Like, Space safe. Oh, and that di again from just after. Yeah. Whoa, oh, oh saved wait. by the bacon. <laughs> the bacon stacking it up. Oh, that was that was not a worthwhile trade. Lunchables ends up cleaning it up for him, but uh, still a very comfortable lead. Yeah. By Lunchables, Team FX. All right, so they're back at neutral. Uh, you can see the green team now just slightly separating the red team out. Yep. Uh, DMG right. sort of stuck on the outskirts. He can't really go in that much. He's, you know, he's uh, he's Captain Falcon. He's got to wait for his moments. Yep. Yeah, he doesn't have the safe move that he can just do. Oh, this could be it. Uh, this yeah. could be it, yep. Very good, yep. God. DMG again. It's looking, looking pretty... Uh, Looking pretty, pretty gloomy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it, I don't. Oh god, he needs to summon his inner Gatsu. That's yeah. what he needs. There is definitely going to be. No, like, look at this. Did you see so all of that? Like, how, and there are no they, options. They didn't hit each other. They didn't. They have. Yeah, they have such good synergy. Like a dance. How did that each other happen? Like, like Lunchables literally covered like twenty-five percent of the stage. They up beat and went like this yeah, and like didn't Christmas. hit each other. <laughs> and there was a bacon somewhere yeah, yeah, in yeah. there. Yeah, the bacon, they're like bombs flying everywhere and boomerang is getting sent across. I don't think they have friendly fire on. <laughs> <laughs>